So throughout this past week, we've gotten some pretty big news involving LEGO Star Wars 2024 sets. As good as all that might sound, there is kind of one downside to that. That being LEGO themselves actually has to retire a bunch of LEGO Star Wars sets to make room for the new ones. So today I'll give you guys all my thoughts on every set retiring, as well as which ones I can personally recommend, as well as a couple tips and tricks on how you guys can possibly get some sets for cheaper. Let's get into it. So welcome back everyone to another LEGO Star Wars video. We only have a couple months left of 2023, so I figured I'd make another quick update involving every single LEGO Star Wars set that is slated to retire at the end of 2023. Like I said, there are about 28 of them. This list is always subject to change, but there are a couple very obvious ones on here and a couple very good ones I want to talk about. So, so really quickly before we get into the list, I do want to say if you guys want to help support the channel as well as save a little bit of extra money yourself throughout the holiday season, definitely go down below, sign for Rocketon using my link. It's pretty much a cashback program uh, where if you guys want to sign up, you guys will actually get $30 credited to your account using my link, as well as throughout the holiday season, you guys can have, you know, possibilities of getting an extra one, two, three, if not even sometimes five or 10% off at lego.com, Walmart, and other places like that, including even Kohl's, I believe. So, and actually, as of today, October 11th, lego.com themselves is actually running an extra 10% cashback through Rakuten. So uh, they have double VIP, which equates to 10% back in VIP. They also have Rakuten and then also a couple promos. So definitely not a bad time to pick up a couple things on your want list right there. But without further ado, if you guys want to use Rakuten, it definitely helps support the channel and saves you guys some money throughout the season. Let's get into the actual list. So starting off here, we have 40539, the Ahsoka Tano Brickheads. This came out January 1st, 2022, and uh, this is a very nice Brickheads in my opinion. As much as I think, you know, Clone Wars Season 7 Ahsoka was really only relevant, uh, say, late 2019, uh, you know, 2020. Um, like most things, you know, LEGO was kind of late to the party by a couple years, but I feel like for the most part, people probably picked it up, um, you know, if they wanted it. It's been, you know, two years now. Uh, the one kind of, you know, good thing about these Brickheads, if you care about from like a, uh, you know, financial aspect of it, are these Brickheads are only available um, you know, at lego.com and at lego stores. Uh, so if you're kind of an, an average lego consumer, you may not even know, you know, a, a brickhead like this exists or you know, have no means of actually getting it. You know, if you don't shop online and you don't um, you know, go to uh, lego stores often. So uh, this is definitely something where I could see in the foreseeable future with how kind of relevant Ahsoka will continue to be um, in Star Wars, you know, in the Mandoverse, in the Filoni movies. I definitely see this brickhead's going up in value a little bit if that matters to you. But nonetheless, very nice set. And let's actually move on to the next one right here. Uh, 40623, the Battle of Endor Heroes brickheads. Uh, so this is actually one that came out May 1st of this year. So it's only going to have like a, you know, a seven or eight month uh, actual shelf life. Same thing, only available at lego.com and at lego stores. Um, if you care about value, you know, that's definitely a um, a couple things right there. You know, the, the short shelf life and the fact it's only available in a couple places um, definitely kind of helps it out. Nonetheless, I think this is a great Brickheads. I think it made perfect sense to come out for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. And um, in my opinion, I like when Lego does stuff like this. You know, I genuinely do like when they, you know, have stuff on shelves for such a short amount of time that like doesn't really matter. You know, it's a 40th anniversary Brickhead set, you know, have it on shelves for 2023 and pretty much call it, you know, why, uh, you know, have it on shelves in 2024. So uh, that's a very nice set right there. Next up, another one that I'm a big fan of as is, and especially with what they're doing with it, uh, 40658, the Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama, uh, same thing, that thing just came out 10 days ago. And it's already slated to retire at the end of 2023 and have a three month shelf life. So um, I like this concept as is. I think it's great. I think it's something I want them to continue. And especially if they're only going to have them on shelves for uh, three months. Again, it's one of those things where it just, as much as it's, you know, it's a wide release product, you know, everyone has the means of getting, you know, one of them, two of them, five of them, 10 of them. It's by no means like exclusive, but it's definitely one of those things where, look, if you, if you buy it throughout this time, it's not going to be on shelves forever. You know, not, every last person may be able to get it and i think that leads to a little bit more kind of uniqueness maybe in your collection so i highly do recommend this set i've got it over here i love it i love the concept and uh, pick it up before it's too late uh, next up we're moving into some of the uh, you know kind of more basic system sets here uh 75288 uh the atat -AT from summer of 2020 uh yeah this thing has to go um you know i do think objectively it is the best play scale um atat -AT ever but you know now after uh, pretty much you know almost four years on the shelves. Uh, I think it's time to uh, get that thing off and uh, put another big set in its place. Um, next up, 75292, the Razor Crest. Uh, same thing, you know, summer 2020. And um, honestly, I think it's pretty much overstayed its welcome uh, by uh, like a year, year and a half, 
maybe ever since it blew up in the show and especially when they put a UCS Razor Crest out pretty quickly as well um, I got a feeling this play scale one um, the, you know the sales have probably been hit pretty heavily with it but nonetheless um, I like it you know I like the play scale one more than the UCS one you guys know that um, I think it just makes more sense uh, but you know long term if we never see the Razor Crest again uh, it is what it is kind of thing but I assume at this point most people that want it already picked it up uh, next up we have a double combo here I'll go over at the same time because it's they're pretty much the same thing uh, we have the 75300 Imperial TIE Fighter then also the 75301 uh, the Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter both these came out January 1st 2021 uh, they're kind of the new era uh, downscaled you know X-Wing and TIE Fighter um, at this current point uh, we are not getting an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter to kind of take their place in 2024 as much as I'm not a fan of the uh, the downscaled sets, you know, I definitely think these two, you know, have their place on the market. You know, I'm always going to miss the, uh, you know, the $70, $80, uh, 700-piece, you know, X-Wings and, and TIE Fighters and stuff like that. But uh, for what it's worth, I think it's a nice little, you know, double combo there. But again, another one of those things where they've been on shelves for so long, uh, you guys probably already have them. Uh, next up, we have the 75309, the UCS Republic Gunship. Uh, this is an, uh, an all-time favorite of mine, of course. Uh, one of those where, you know, they kind of, you know, the, the Gunship was a really good deal at one point it did get kind of shafted with that price hike went from 350 to 400 so like now when you see it like on sale on like amazon you know it brings it down to pretty much like original retail so you know 400 dollars. as much as i love the gunship it's a hefty price so it's, it's one of those things where hopefully you would have got it on sale already i know zabby had it on sale um amazon was having it on sale these past couple days uh this might be something i recommend you know black friday weekend when lego probably does a uh, double vip and a couple pretty heavy uh, heavy uh, promos that weekend i probably recommend it most there but uh that is out of here i'm um, next up 75312 the uh, the miniature or not miniature but just smaller scale Boba Fett starship same thing um, you know not not for me personally but it's definitely a nice thing to have on the market um, at this point it's like you know let's hope we get the Boba Fett one out of here and we get a Django Fett one on the shelf next right uh, but another one of those that is retiring uh, seven five three one seven the Mandalorian and the Child Brickheads um, this is the definition of a set that needs to genuinely get off the shelves and I, I never want to see it again. Uh, I was under the assumption this even came out earlier. This seemed like it came out in 2019, but um, everywhere I look, it's 2020. Like, it's just been so long of seeing it. Uh, so many times at, you know, Amazon where it's like 40, 50% off. Like, if you don't have this set yet, now's the time to get it. I'm pretty sure on Amazon right now, even it's like only 13 bucks. So um, it, it's a nice set for what it is, but it's just, it's overstated. It's welcome, I think. Uh, next up, speaking of the child, we have the bigger version, uh, 75318. Uh, I feel like this was probably one of those that really kind of had a lot of hype at the front end. Um, you know, when Grogu or, you know, the child was more, I'm not going to say necessarily relevant, but, you know, when he first kind of came out, everyone was going crazy about him. It probably sold really well at the start. You know, if it was one of those things that uh, you would have wanted in your collection, you probably got it pretty early on. But nonetheless, it is retiring. Uh, next up, 75320, the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, this is another one that, um, you know, again, understandable. Two years on the shelves makes perfect sense, you know, especially with now Lego coming out with uh, Battle Packs in the summer. Um, you know, Lego might start having a lot more on the shelf, so... It's time to kind of, uh, you know, in with the old, or out with the old, in with the new. Uh, next up, uh, Hoth ATST. Um, you know, it looks like basically at this point, the entire Hoth the lineup is just out of here. You know, if you wanted to make a Hoth mock, genuinely now is your time. You know, pick up that ATAT, -AT, pick up these ATSTs. Like, if you want to build a Hoth mock, as much as a lot of this stuff will probably get remade, you know, ATATs come out like every four or five years. Uh, so I think probably like 2028 or so, we'll probably get another round of like Hoth related sets. But if you want to build a Hoth mock and build up your Snowtrooper army or Imperial army, whatever, uh, I highly recommend, you know, whether you can buy stuff this, you know, this uh, you know holiday season or ask for it for Christmas or, you know, if you have a birthday coming up, uh, now is your time. Like, you know, if you have a couple hundred dollars to spend, now is your time for all the Hoth stuff. Uh, because the ATST is out of here. Uh, 75323, the Justifier. Um, this is one where I've grown to like it a lot more. I never really necessarily thought it was a bad concept of a set, but one of those where I highly think, you know, just like what are they what are they doing at 170? It's like they could have easily made that 120, maybe even 99.99, and uh, you know, had it sell better, you know, at original retail. Um, this is one of those where 
a lot of people are finding it uh walmart clearance even target has it like half off in store um lego.com had it like 30 percent off for may 4th so um it's one of those where if you really want the set you've probably been able to get it for about a hundred ish but um if not i highly think this will probably be on sale again uh, you know, Black Friday time. So um, Dark Trooper Attack is up next, 75324. Another one of those that kind of like, as much as it's actually only been out for under two years, I feel like it's kind of overstated its welcome. Uh, you know, that scene was, uh, again, all the way back at the end of 2020. And it's like, we're going into 2024 now. You know, people have their Dark Troopers. You know, until we see them again, I definitely think that set kind of, you know, just has fallen through the cracks lately. But uh, next up, 75326, uh, Boba Fett's Throne Room. Another one of those, just not really relevant anymore. Um, you know, about a, a year, and 10 months on the shelf something that's perfectly fine another one of those where you know costco sales um amazon sales walmart sales you've probably already gotten it uh so next up we have 75327 the luke skywalker red 5 helmet um i think this is a fine helmet it's one of those where if you you are a uh, helmet collector it does look like they're uh, not doing those anymore so um at least you can kind of think to yourself like if you want to get all the helmets there's not really any you have, to, you have to prep for for 2024, so uh, maybe just focus on you know, getting these final you know ones that are already on the shelves if you guys need these. But uh, next one, 75329, uh, Death Star Trench Run Diorama, and then also the 75330, the Dagobah Jedi Training Diorama. Uh, both of these I'm going to kind of pair together. You know, they came out April of 2022, so about a year and a half on the shelves. Um, not too bad on both these. I do kind of like them. Uh, one thing I will say is it looks like they're going to be doing these dioramas for at least another couple of years years where if you are kind of worried about you know say ever you know feeling like you missed out on these early ones now is the time i mean these are the first ones uh you know the first wave of them so again if they continue to do these for the next five years there will probably come a point where you kind of think to yourself damn i wish i got these so i highly recommend both of those next up we have 75334 the kenobi versus darth vader i think this is one of the most ugly sets of like the last decade uh the minifigures definitely carry but it's also another one of those that uh pretty much everywhere has had it had it on sale or clearance so you've probably already gotten it uh 75335 the bd1 uh this was actually on amazon for 30 percent off yesterday so if you guys uh, took advantage of that you know that was a pretty nice deal but if you like the games it's definitely a nice you know little build uh i don't think they're going to be doing too many jedi fallen order sets you know throughout the next five ten years so uh bd1 is probably going to be that kind of one and done thing where again, if you like the games, I would recommend it. Uh, 75336, the Inquisitor Transport Scythe, in my opinion, one of the most underrated sets of 2022. Uh, I definitely, again, I don't like the Kenobi show. I don't like, you know, Reva. I don't even really like Kenobi in the show. Like, I think all the characters were really done pretty poorly, even the Grand Inquisitor, even the Fifth Brother, whatever. Uh, so I think the entire set kind of gets, you know, pushed down or weighted down because of that. But I do think the set itself, the build, the value, uh, the quality of the minifigures besides Reva looking very plain, uh, I do highly recommend it. And people are finding it for like 20, 30, 40% off at their Walmart, so I highly recommend checking. Uh, 75338, the Ambush on Ferrix. Uh, this was a Target exclusive. And uh, this was one of those that's kind of rarely gone on sale. And I feel like this will be a sleeper in the future. I think this set will uh, definitely be a pretty heavy hitter if you care about value uh, when Andor Season 2 does come out. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, you know, again, you guys know my fans. I'm not a big fan of the show. I'll still probably pick up maybe two of these to kind of just hang on to, see what they do. Uh, but there's that. Uh, 75339, the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama. Uh, so actually, all three of them are actually uh, retiring. So same thing with the other two. I have a feeling, look, these are going to be around for a couple years, like the actual diorama line. So if you ever feel like you're going to possibly regret not getting these, now you have a three-month window to pick them up. Uh, next up, we have 75342, the Republic Fighter Tank. Uh, this one's a Target exclusive and, you know, a lot of hype about it uh, for being a Clone Wars set, you know, building up your 187th Army. Uh, my opinion is on it, very overrated. I'm not a big fan of the set at all. But it is another Target exclusive uh, where, you know, it is a little bit harder to find on sale. Uh, but there are a lot of people, you know, stockpiling up hundreds of them. So uh, I got a feeling it's not going to be anything that goes up too crazy in value afterwards. Uh, but I highly recommend, you know, if, if you do want one, uh, I would just bite the full $40, you know, retail price of it. There's a chance it might go on sale uh, during Black Friday. But again, if you want one of them, I think just bite the 40 and pretty much call it. Uh, next up, 75343 Dark Trooper Helmet. This is also a Target exclusive. Uh, this is one of those where if you guys remember the TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet back in 2020, okay, that, you know, Target for Black Friday had that one half off. The Dark Trooper Helmet may be a half off helmet 
during Black Friday time. So definitely stay tuned for that. That might be the case. I, I don't know that, but there's definitely a possibility. Then lastly, 75366, the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar for this year. Uh, of course, you know, as always, they only last for the holiday season. Makes perfect sense. And, um, you know, again, you know, if you, if you kind of, if you want the Advent Calendar, you get it for the you know, holiday season. And um, after that, really no point. He's got a couple minifigures in there but uh nothing too crazy so really quickly i want to hop on here and also mention a couple more things uh first off both of the uh combo packs for star wars this year uh, will both be of course you know not produced uh, pretty much after the holiday season so you might still see them maybe hanging around your stores uh maybe early january but other than that uh not supposed to be produced in 2024 those being the uh the walmart exclusive uh hoth atst and snowtrooper battle pack combo pack uh that is 45 dollars when the retail is 70 so uh, not too bad of a deal and then also the uh the very lackluster very sad uh triple combo pack uh cole's exclusive uh which is actually the three lego star wars mech sets uh, which are actually two more pennies than what you would have to pay if you bought them uh, individually. So uh, both those combo packs definitely have room to uh, go on deeper discount, you know, around Black Friday, you know, at their respective stores. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, last thing I want to bring up, since uh, this is going to be a big topic of discussion in the comment section, uh, you know, about if the Mos Eisley Cantina uh, will be retired at this current point and for the past, you know, five, six, seven months, it has not been on the list and it's not looking like it will be retired. So uh, pretty much is looking like, you know, again, next year, they might still be doing a, a big, you know, vehicle UCS set, um, you know, possibly that Java sail bars I talked about yesterday, where, you know, they might actually drag out that cantina uh, for all of 2024. And then at this point, maybe 2025, maybe we'll finally get another MBS set. Or there's even a strong possibility. I mean, who knows at this point? I mean, it has been multiple years. Maybe they've just fully canceled, you know, the MBS line. And uh, maybe they won't be coming out with another one anytime soon. And uh, they just figured Cantina's selling well. And uh, just might as well keep a set like that on the shelf. So at this current point, though, I will definitely give you guys you know, a closer update right before the end of 2023. Uh, but the Cantina is not on the retirement list. And it's not been for many, many months That's now. pretty crazy. But nonetheless, I wanted to make this video here, um, again, going into the holiday season uh be sure to uh check out my instagram i post deals on my story uh definitely sign up for rakuten down below um it helps uh, both of us out and uh bottom line of it guys you know stay on the lookout for deals there are definitely ways of you know never paying retail like that's kind of like the motto you should live by like at the bare minimum you can pretty much get any lego set ever for at least 20 percent off you know 30 percent off even and in the grand scheme of things Saving 20% off of every single Lego set will end up saving you hundreds and hundreds a year, which at the end of the day, can you really complain? So uh, that is everything. Leave your thoughts down below. Help out others if you guys have any suggestions or any tips and tricks on how to get some of these sets cheaper. Um, also comment down below, what sets do you think will actually kind of do the best after retirement? You know, which sets do you think will be sleepers? I'd love to hear it all. Let's start the discussion down there and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys and stay safe.